today is a new day. And this is something that is extremely important for me to share with everybody, okay? Upper body strength, upper body workouts. A lot of times people will go to the gym and they'll just do uh, shoulders and triceps or different things. But this new form of training that I'm doing, where I think it is so important to uh, build and get blood flow to the muscles on a regular basis means you need to try to work out on these body parts multiple times a week if you can. Um, so this is one thing that I do twice a week right now. Um, this specific thing, I still do curls multiple times more beyond that just twice a week. But this particular exercise, I do triceps, I do shoulders, I do biceps, and I do shrugs, okay? Four things, and I do it twice a week. And this is an incredible workout. I do three sets of each. And as I talked about in some of the other videos I made, I tie everything into that number seven again because in, in my mind, it has helped me to actually get way better workouts, okay? Instead of counting all the way up to say 21, um, I'll do in my mind seven, and then I'm doing another set of seven, and then another set of seven. So I'm gonna show you with what I'm gonna do here. But uh, this is incredible, incredible. Okay, I'm 53 years old. I almost died from stage four brain cancer that almost took me out. I don't know whether you can see that there or not. I'll have some other videos you can see that in, okay? But I weigh 200 pounds now. I was down to 165 pounds and building up all the muscle has helped me incredibly. But this is great for anybody that's into any sport. <clears throat> yes, this is a basketball training video uh, series and course that I'm making this all for. And anybody that's into basketball needs to do these kinds of things. You don't have to follow the exact script of what I'm doing. I'm showing you what I do and I'm showing you what would work great. Um, I'm into a very busy life. This is a home-based workout. So this is what I do at my house. You can go to the gym, you can do other things. But I, I think anybody that would pay attention to what I'm telling you is gonna get great results. Just pay attention to what I'm gonna teach you here. The first thing I'm gonna do is triceps. Here's my tricep machine, okay? This wasn't that expensive. You can spend a lot of money if you want. Um, I just wanted to go as inexpensive as possible because I didn't have the resources at the time to go buy a bunch of fancy equipment. Um, I paid 200 bucks for this thing from a neighbor. It's a great piece of equipment, okay? So I'll do triceps. You're gonna see them go out like this. a little bit with your legs okay and it's like it's going back to your head okay push in and out i know a lot of people know how to do this but a lot of young kids that aren't into working out this is going to be a great way to help them especially older people that don't work out that need to work out Two sets of seven like this. You can mix it up. There's a lot of things you can do, but this is what I'm doing in my mind because it helps me. Then I take my arms and I reverse them this way. Okay? Stand there. Do the same thing. Two. Three. Go up slow. Four. Squeeze down. Five. Basketball players, they should be doing that every day. 
does, okay? This is putting blood flow and muscle pumping into your triceps, okay? It's gonna strengthen your arms. Everything's gonna strengthen your arms, okay? You wanna build that muscle up. If you're in a basketball, guess what? You're gonna get stronger, you're gonna get better, you're gonna shoot better. And the other thing that's important, get one of those weighted basketballs. Practice with somebody. Practice with a neighbor. Practice with your friend. Practice with your family. Practice with your brother. Who knows? Anybody. If you're by yourself and you don't have it, then stay next to a cement wall. Take it. Keep throwing it. Pick it up and throw it. When you pick up that basketball and you're throwing it, and when you're doing the heavy one and then you're in a real game with the light one, guess what? You're going to be able to shoot farther. You're going to be able to shoot better. You're going to be able to make it better. Okay? That's just triceps. Next is going to be shoulders. Part of this same routine I'm showing you is now biceps. But I do biceps multiple times. This is my shoulder try, by and shrugs, traps. This is part of my next workout. Okay, biceps. Okay. Days that I do twice a week. Shoulders, triceps, biceps, traps. Okay? And there's a lot of different things you can do for biceps. Right now I'm going to show you I use a Olympic bar and I put weight on there and I do that. But I have a, another a form over here that I'm going to show you. And you can do a lot of different things. But it's important to do this as well. Right now I've got. Uh, 45 pound dumbbell with uh, two tens, which takes you to 65, and then two fives, which takes you to 75. So I got 75 pounds, and I'm going to do 14 reps. One, two, three. Bring it down slow. I do 21. There's times I'll take weight off and do more and do 21. But you do this regularly. It's extremely, extremely important. I'm going to show the other bicep workout that I had. Okay. This is another one of these things you can do for biceps. I have this equipment that I bought from Dick's Sporting Goods. Legs with it, your arms, your chest, it's great. Okay? Again, the sevens are really important. Two or three sets of sevens, okay? One, two, three. Don't bring it down too fast. Four, five, go slow down. Six, seven, squeeze it up so you feel your muscles. Okay, that's one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're probably good right now. Okay, one more set. Do the dumb. 
dumbbells. I can show you a few more things, the two that I've shown you so far. Two more things I'm going to show you. There's others, trust me. But in addition to the uh, Olympic bar, I have one of these other bars, okay? The curvature bar. And you can buy these things, they're cheap. You can get them from Dick's Sporting Goods. You can get them all over the place. You can get them, I think, even at Walmart. Sevens. I'm going to do two sets of seven. Bring it up slow. Squeeze it. Okay? That's one way to do it. That's one. But sometimes you can go fast like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's, there's multiple ways you can do it. You can do it like that, or you can do it both ways. One set of seven like that, another one like that. right now and I don't have the time to get in my car in Orlando Florida and it's over traffic population and drive 30 minutes to a gym 30 minutes home there's an hour of my day gone and then another time working out when I work out from home I start early do it early get it over with okay if you can do it later in the day that's fine but maybe as an adult it's a little easier as you're older to get up early get it done this is not advice I would just give basketball in high school. This is advice I give to anybody that wants a better life, that wants to feel better. Anybody that battled cancer like I did, you need to exercise. There were times I felt so so bad I couldn't even function. I had no energy. I'd come out here to the gym. I'm like, oh man, I don't even know if I should work out. And when I would train, the muscles would get pumped. The blood would get flowing. And I felt better. I always feel better doing it. That's why I recommend this. So the last thing you can do Get the dumbbells. Okay, there's a lot of things you can do with the dumbbells. I mean, you just take two and go up like this. You can mix it up. You can do seven like that. Okay, you can do hammers. Keep them this way. Come up and kind of come in a little bit. Go slow down. Okay, do them like that. All right. You can you can get them out wider like this, almost like you're going up from the side. You can do them like that. There's so many things you can do. The big thing is you gotta do this stuff regularly. Biceps, I try to do biceps. Uh, definitely twice a week like I'm showing you with the good three sets. Uh, but many other days, I might just do one set. I might just do one set of curls. Good, to just get the pump. Keep the pump, because you see what I got pump right now? That's not going anywhere when I keep doing it on a regular basis. I know a lot of people are going to love this. So follow the directions here and see the results. 
This is a shoulder workout. And here's the big thing. You don't need heavy weight with shoulders. That's one of the worst training exercises that anybody that's into exercise and working out does. Um, it's the number one injury with anybody that's in the gym, including myself. I was into powerlifting, did all kinds of crazy stuff when I was younger. I can't go heavy with shoulders. But if I was younger and didn't go heavy with shoulders, it never would have been injured. And it helps build everything up. Shoulders are all about lightweight with reps, high reps with blood flow, okay? The shrugs, which I'll show you after, that can help you build everything up over here. Your shoulders will build up. But if you're doing the triceps and the biceps and the shoulders and the shrugs, you're going to put the size on that you want, okay, without getting injured. This is the big difference between me and what you're going to hear from a lot of different people. A lot of, a lot of trainers are going to do things that are going to be crazy and they're going to injure people, okay? When you're younger, you don't think about it, but, you know, I'm 53. You want to get older? have a bunch of injuries, that's not good. So this isn't even a lot of weight. And there's a number of things you can do. You can either sit on a bench like this with these, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my seven and sevens here, okay? One, two, go down slow. Three, push up, kind of stop. Four, other things you do, multiple different sets of shoulders, and that's going to help you. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'll do three, one, two, three, four. Show you with the video the way it's at now but you can take one foot out kind of kneel a little bit so you got this stance better one two three four five six seven okay so i've shown you two different things that i've done for shoulders sometimes i don't do the the dumbbells and the bar at the same time i might just do one Okay. There's other ones that work as well. It's, it's 
it's the style and how this works the best for you that I'm really trying to show everybody. Here's the other thing I do, light dumbbells. Okay, these are only 10 pounds. You don't need the weight excessive, okay? You see my shoulders and my upper body, how much muscle and fitness I put onto it, okay? And again, people are gonna think I'm crazy, but I'm telling you, this works. This number seven that you're counting in your head works. If I stand here, my arms straight, and I go to the sides, seven reps. Up slow, down slow, one, two, to be fit. The next thing I do is shrugs. Okay, I want to build up my build up my traps. There's nothing like having traps. Look at the rock in the movies. I love looking at that guy. The shrugs are extremely important. I use my Olympic bar. I do it, I do it about three different ways. I'm gonna show you both, okay? But counting the sevens to me is extremely important as well. It just depends on how strong I feel. Right now I have an Olympic bar. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. And I have uh, two 45s, two 10s, and two 5s on there. This one you can go heavier on. One, two, three, four, five. Seven. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The heavier weight, the quicker it goes. I'm 
burning right now. Anybody can go there and get them. Shrug them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you can maneuver these around. Sometimes you can put them more in the front end and do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or you can put them behind your back. do it the less sore you are the better you're gonna feel especially if you're in a basketball you're never really gonna get sore you might feel a little pump maybe you'll feel a tiny bit of soreness the next day and it's gonna be gone but that isn't gonna affect your basketball career okay I'm showing you some legs you're constantly jumping you're constantly basket jumping balls you're throwing balls you're doing this you're passing every single thing I'm showing you is gonna build your upper body and it's gonna make you stronger and it's gonna make you better 